hello guys welcome to another tutorial so now we're gonna do scene transitions so whenever we touch this whenever we touch the, the goal post or the level complete we're gonna switch to the next level and we're gonna tell we're gonna add a export variable to this um the flag and let it uh know where the next level that it should go to so first let's create a new folder we're just gonna call these levels just to organize so in the scenes we're gonna have levels and then let's close this scene for now close all of these guys down and let's move this main I'm gonna move it to the scene so move to scenes levels let's just rename this to level one level one save that so what we could do here is just we could just duplicate the scene Let's call it level two for now. Duplicate, call it level two. And we're gonna have a main menu too, so we're gonna create that separately. So let's open up level two. Let's change it up a bit. Not too much, but. All right, and that should be good. So let's grab this flag, go back to level one. And then grab the flag for a sec. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna export a path to the next level. And we're gonna tell it what level to load. So to do that, first we need to export. Oops, close it. export. And then we need to give it a property hint. So we need to say property hint, and we're gonna tell it to be a file. And then we're gonna pass that as a string. So it's a public, public string could call it next level but set it to nothing by default whenever the player overlaps with it now we're gonna load that scene so we see uh what we could do we could give it a timer as well so before that we could use a tween but for now let's just quickly load the scene so get tree a tree but change scene to file and then pass in that next level, next level path. But we first need to check that it's actually set. So let's go to here and say, if uh, next level path, next level part, not equal to nothing, then we do load scene, save. Realistically, you'd want to say, yay, level complete, and then, Switch to the next level. We could do all of that. So let's let's just get this working first. We could fill the project, and we have we could select the level. So scenes levels, and we're on level one, so we want level two. Let's save. On level two, we're gonna maybe add a UI back. So let's quickly create that. So here, uh, go to scenes. Maybe make a main menu. So user interface uh, main menu just quickly set this up we're gonna add a button that's just play oh sorry button that's just play let's put it in the center just say play here play all uppercase that's all this is gonna be let's add a quick label why not label put it in the center Started C sharp game, C sharp game. Give it a label settings and scale it up. Font size. Let's connect this play here. So we're gonna make this load level one. Put that in the scripts. Then close that for a sec. Remember it and now we're we're gonna connect this button. Now connect this button's press signal. So we could call it start game and let's create that function public void start game and we could say get tree get tree uh change scene to file uh let's just make a level one level one but why not let's create that string here let's quickly export it property int uh, file don't need a process here. Delete that for now. 
Uh, let's build this project. We have a uh, level one part main menu. Level two scenes. Levels level one. Uh, let's try from the top. So we're gonna make this our main scene. So let's go down to main menu here. It is default scene. Go to either press this or this. All right. Now when we press play, should switch to that scene. There you go. I know it's a bit jarring, but could do some polishing at some point. Be a loading screen type thing. All right, let's just jump all the way over here. I'm gonna load up to level two now. This should load level two. Here you go. Uh oh. <laughs> I did not move the player from that spot. He just falls to his death. That's funny. All right, let's grab him and move him over a bit. Over here. There you get the idea. And I want to create a uh, condition that makes the player reset if he drops off the level. Let's do that real quick. So let's go into player and let's see uh, public void start a tree e load current scene. Save and up here now, right in the date so here. If uh, position dot y be less than some arbitrary number negative twenty five, then we want to restart. Restart. All right. Build this and run it again. Let's just run from level two. All right, that should be it. So next episode or next video, we're gonna do um an um audio. And then that should be it for the series. Take care, guys, and have a good one. And like and subscribe. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Take care.